This is the rock. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who were well and who I'm running from. This is for the elect of Israel, the whole faith elect of Israel. We so called blacks, Native Americans, Latinos, Navy speckled birds scattered around four corners of the earth, whose lineage go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who are Israelites. I'd like to start off with uh, Matthew 24 and 5. It's going to look to uh, Matthew 24 and 1, and it reads, this is Matthew 24, chapter, first verse, and it reads, And Yahweh Shahamashiach went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the building of the temple. And Yahweh said unto them, See ye not? All these things, verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Verse 3, and that's it. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? and other end of the world. Matthew 24 and 4. And Yahweh answered and said, Unto them take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And that's the beginning of Jacob's trouble. Because we're headed that way now. If you're watching the news, you have eyes to see, ears to hear, you can understand what's going on. Understand it. Just like all the yeah. Apostle Great Millstone, the Apostle Great Millstone deemed this year as uh, the year turn up, and that's exactly what's going on. That's exactly what's going on. Now we gotta, I'm gonna go to Joel, Joel 2 and 1. I think that's the one. No, that's not the one. Uh, let's go to Ezekiel. Look at Ezekiel. So like this is the book of Ezekiel. Uh, that's it, six. This is the book of Ezekiel, six and twelve. He that is far off shall die of pestilence, and he that is near shall fall by the sword. And he that remaineth and is besieged shall die by the famine. Thus will I accomplish my fury upon them. Yeah, it's, you know, what's coming is uh, the, the pestilence, which is the, all the diseases and the thing that comes with it. You know, pestilence also could be, could be the, the, uh, 
intercontinental ballistic missiles. You know, with that too, and then uh, weapons of destruction. And let me read that again. Ezekiel 6 and 12. He that is far off shall die. Other pessimists, and he that is near shall fall by the sword. And he that remaineth is besieged shall die by the famine. This will I accomplish my thus will I accomplish my fury upon them. Yeah, the, the war, famine, destruction. And this it's gonna be it's gonna be terrible. But his word don't come back. You know, Yahweh buys me. Yahweh's word don't come back. War. You know, he says what he's gonna do, and he's gonna do it. You know, you can see the judgment going on all around you, every single day. But this is this is <laughs> this is a, a, a step up from usual because it's it's coming hard this time. You know, because uh, uh, that's uh The devil know which is he's like he even knows that he got his sword but a sword time and he's and he's coming hard. He's coming hard. As you can as you can see if you're watching the news, the the pandemic is uh slowing down to the to a crawl, you know, so that they, and they're messing with the they're getting ready to mess with do that reset. That's what's what we, that's what's getting ready to happen. They're getting ready to do that reset. You know, because I'm hearing a lot of talk about Bitcoin and this and that, you know, dealing with electronic currency, you know. I mean, a lot going around with that, a lot of chatter on that. Uh, let's see if I got anything else on that. Okay, Ezekiel 6.13. Then shall you know that I am the Lord Jehovah Bosch from Jehovah Shai, when their slain men shall be among their idols, run about their altars upon every high hill and all the tops of the mountains, and unto every green tree, and every, and under every thick oak, the place where they did offer sweet savor, savor to all to all their idols. So will I stretch out my hand upon them and make the land desolate, yeah, more desolate than the wilderness, toward the blot, and all their habitations. And they shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh, by son Yahweh's son. And they're going to know it, you know. They're going to know it. And these people are still waxing proud, though, you know. They think it's going to come break back down. It's, it's not going to go anywhere or, or, or it's not going to be too much destruction. But it, it's, this place is going to be totally destroyed. You know, it says that in the scriptures. I, I, I still run across in, in these notes. Okay, let's go to Ezekiel again. Let's go back back down. To, let's go up to, uh, back up to uh, Ezekiel 6 and 10. And it reads, And they shall know that I am the Lord, and that I have not said anything that I would do this evil unto them. Read that again, Ezekiel 6 and 10. And they shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shah, and that I have not said in vain that I would do this evil unto them. So he didn't say that in vain. He's going to do it. He said he's going to do it. It's happening. It's happening. Okay, let's go to uh, Ezekiel 7.25. Ezekiel 7.25, Ezekiel 7, and it reads, Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to seek peace you know, with, with, with God, may God, but, but uh, it, 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 it is none. There is none, because the Yahweh Bosh and the is directing this. You know, he's the director there to act this. You know, now it's a scripture. I have to look it up, but it's roughly paraphrasing, and you know, uh, uh, he puts a he put a bridle in their mouths to turn them back. I gotta find it, but uh, he's directing the Yahweh Bonds from Yahweh's like directing everything, you know, for his pleasure, you know. 
uh, let's see, uh, let's go to Ezekiel 7 and 26, next verse, and it reads, mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor, then shall they seek a vision of a prophet, but the law shall perish from the priest and counsel from the angels. The king shall mourn, and the prince shall be clothed with desolation, and the hands of the people of the land shall be troubled. I will do unto them after their way, and according to their deserts will I judge them, and they shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh, Bahasim Yahweh Shai. Now see, better get this word while you can, uh, Israel, because it's going to be feminine of the word. It's coming. You know that they're already getting ready to knock out the electrical grid, the com all the computer grid. They're, they've, been, they've been talking about it. You know, don't think because that's happening over there, it's not going to affect you. Prices going up. You know, in stores and the gas stations everywhere. You know, this money is no good. These FIAs, they're no good. You know, that's why they've been giving everybody that was, that was stymies and everything else. You know, and this, this, this place is collapsing on itself, the financial system. You know, so they can do the great reset, basically. Let's do, let me move down to, uh, um, you think this is not that I get that? Just do that. Let's see. Uh, Ezekiel 7 9. Okay, Ezekiel. Let's just go up to Ezekiel 7 8, verse 8. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense thee for all thy abominations. Ezekiel 7 and 9, verse 9. And my eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee. And ye shall note that I am the Lord Yahweh, by some Yahweh's side, that's my Yeah, so people are going to know. They're going to know. Uh, uh, just like how every knee shall bow. I'm roughly paraphrasing that scripture. Every knee shall bow to Yahweh by to Yahweh's side. Every knee. Every knee. So you better bow now while, while you, you still have grace, but time is running out. It's better to bow now and free to meet the most high, Yahweh, power, and there's only the God's son, Yahweh's side. You better do that. Because if you don't, you're gonna do it, but you're gonna you're gonna be in pain doing it. Unimaginable pain. Okay, let me see. Let's go to Zero Six Eight. And it reads. Well, let's go out to, um, uh, I'm, I'm not to read this. The heading of it is idolatrous worship denounce. And that's, you know, that's the worship of this, the, you know, drinking the wine of Babylon. You know, the, 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 all the, all the idol worshiping all the idol gods, you know, they, uh, uh, in this land that, that can't even eat, sleep, or walk, or talk. They can't do anything. You, know, you got to stand them up, you know. They can't, what can they do? Nothing. You know, how can you make something? You can't make nothing that lives, you know. And they can, how, how you going to make an idol? You're going to make a, a god that you worship. You're gonna make this this guy, and he got he has no power because you got no power. You have no power. 
Only reason why you're breathing is because of your hawa bodies and your hawa side. That's your power. You know, Israelites, that's, that's, that, that's your, your power. Your Hamites, that's, your, that's who created you. Esau, that's who, that's who molded you from the, from, from the clay. But you're not as elect, which is Israel. You're not as elect. So you, you keep you, you keep your gods because they're gonna be destroyed. Let me go to uh, it's a, Ezekiel six and two. Son of man, set thy face toward the mountains of Israel and prophesy against them. The mountains, that's the that's the the the, the rulers of the, of others 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 land. That's the government. No, and that's what's happening, and that's why they're running scared. They're shaking in their boots. Yeah, let's go to uh, Ezekiel six three, and say, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bias and Yahweh Shah, thus said the Lord uh, 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 Yahweh, to the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers and to the valleys. Behold, I even I will bring a sword upon you, and I will destroy your high places. And your altars shall be desolate, and your images shall be broken. And I will cast out your slain men before your idols. And I will lay the dead carcasses of the children of Israel before their idols. And I will scatter your bones round about your altars. And all your dwelling places, the cities, shall be laid waste, and the high places shall be desolate. That your altars may be laid waste and made desolate. And your idols may be broken and cease, and your images may be cut down, and your works may be abolished. And the slain shall fall in the midst of you, and ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Ezekiel 6 and 8. Yet will I leave a remnant that ye may have some that shall escape this war among the nations when ye shall be scattered through the countries. And they that escape of you shall remember me among the nations, whether they shall be carried captives, because I am broken with their whore's harp, and have departed from me, and with their eyes which go a whore after their idols. And they shall loathe themselves for the evils which they have committed in their abominations. And they shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And that I have not said in vain that I will do this evil unto them. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, smite with thy hand and stamp with thy feet, and say, Alas, for all the evil abominations of the house of Israel, where they shall fall by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. So, you chose to, Israel, you, you, you chose to stay upon these people and their idols, you're going to be destroyed with them. You're going to be destroyed. Okay, let's go to uh, let's go to 25. And it reads, then the Messiah, Ezekiel 324, then the Spirit entered unto me and set me upon my feet and spake with me and said unto me, go, shut thyself within thy house. Verse 3, Ezekiel 3, 25. But thou, son of man, behold, they shall put bands upon thee and shall bind thee with them, and thou shalt not go out among them. Yeah, because he's going to hide us from all this. Lord, well, I'm one of those 
but it's gonna hide this so let you know it's gonna hide as he let Lord will I I'll be one of them and he's gonna stop uh the truth from going out Ezekiel 3 26 and it reads and I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth that thou shalt be dumb and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. But when I speak, when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bashani Hanasa, he that hear it, let him hear, and he that forbear, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house. Yeah. Okay, this this going to these notes. Saying what I put down. Now, you know, as far as uh, Esau, Edom, they uh, planning and they they planning their evil. You know, every you know, every day they they're scheming and scamming, planning how they're gonna get us and how they're gonna preserve themselves from this judgment. And how they're gonna do that great reset. And they're making their plans, their, their dark plans. Here you go, Isaiah 29 and 15. Isaiah 29 and 15, and it reads, One to them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, Yahweh, Bajah, and Yahweh, and their works are in the dark, and they Say, who seeth us? And who knoweth us? Let me read that again, Isaiah. Tonight, chapter 15, verse. Watch to them that take. Let me read it again. It's like it's Isaiah 29, chapter 15, verse. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh and their works are in the dark. And they say, who seeth us? And who knoweth us? Surely your turning of the things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding. You, it, you people think that we can get away with everything you're getting away with in the dark or, or, or however you plan on doing it. How do you think you're going to do that? You're being wise. It was just as written before you would, you was even conceived. Yeah, the Holocaust and the already knew. He he read the script. So don't think you're gonna get away. That goes for you, you, you too. Are a wicked Israelite who who's not turning back. You know, who who want to hold on to a piece of the rock. And I got that. I, I use that word, piece of the rock, because right now this is a prison planet and you're on a rock so you want to hold on to the piece of your prison sentence and you, you want to stay locked up in so be it so be it let me go to uh let me start at Joel 3 and 6 he, you know, he's all got to pay for everything he's done and, and, and that's simple Joel 3 and 6. Okay, let's see. Let's see. This is what they got to pay for. This is what these are have to pay for. Cause we, you know, we, we pay for our uh, sin against God. We're buying some your house. We pay for it, you know, and, but we came back and we repenting, you know, because we, we, we're trying to get everything you know, try to do everything, get back what we, you know, what we lost. We try to get our, our, our life back. And that's going to happen, as promised, if you come back to them, if you part of the elect, you know. Uh, and, uh, I, I hope to be part of the, the, the other elect, you know. I hope to be. 
Because who wants to, there's nothing here but death, destruction, suffering, disease, misery. So this is what, uh, they're going to have to pay for this because they thought they got away. And they brag about it, they're proud with it. And now they're trying to, they're trying to use all kind of, you know, to get away from their responsibility, you know. Oh, let it go. Uh, move on. Okay. Why you think they suffer? The curses is transferring over to them. The curses don't were all nuts. Okay. Joel 3 and 1. For behold, in those days and at that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And will plead with them. And that's uh, uh Let me, let me uh, do a research on this. Let me pull up that word, Je Je Jehoshaphat. Let's see. We're going to see what it means. We're going to see what it means. The Lord is judge. Yahweh Bosh should be Yahweh Sai's judge. And uh, Yahweh Sapat. Okay, let's see. Trying to find that word. Okay, let's go back to that. Twelve, three, six. Okay, let's go to uh, jo uh oh uh, uh yeah, Joel three seven. Behold, I will raise them out of out of the place whether ye have sold them, and will return your recompense upon your head. Let's read that again from Joel. Three and six. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem <clears throat> have ye sold unto the Greasers that ye might move them far from the border, from their border. <coughs> now, behold, I will raise them out of other places whither ye have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head. So you gotta pay for that. You gotta pay for putting us on those slave ships, killing, robbing, killing, rape, murder, all of that. And uh, Joel three and eight, and I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hands of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians, Sabians, to a people far off, for the Lord Yahweh by some Yahweh side have spoken it. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. And that's what's happening. That's what's happening. But they have to pay. Okay, let's go to Ezekiel 22. And yeah. back at 14. It reads, and Hedy said, a vision of four figures. Let me see. Uh, is this the right one? Nope. Figure 22 and 14, let's try it again. Let's see, go 22 and 14. Okay. 
Let's go to, uh, uh, um, let's, yeah, let's go to, uh, let's just do it at, uh, let's go to, uh, Ezekiel 22 and 13. Behold, therefore I have smitten mine hand at thy dishonest gang, which thou hast made, and at thy blood, which hath been in the midst of thee. Yeah, so these people, he, 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 you know, everything they got, they got a dishonest, in a dishonest way, you know, trickery, murder, anything they can do to, to get it, they got it. You know, everything they own off the backs and blood of our nation. You know, Judah and Israel. Southern and Northern King. Okay. The 14th verse. Can thy heart endure or can thy hands be strong in the days that I shall deal with thee? I, the Lord Yahweh by Simeon Homicide, have spoken it. And will do it. You know, so. I think that's right. Yeah. So, uh, let's go to uh, Isaiah 33 and 9. See what it reads. Say at 33 and 9, and it reads, The earth mourneth and languisheth. Lebanon is a shame and hewn down. Sharon is like a wilderness, and Bashan and Carmel shake off their fruits. And it's like, there we go. Yeah. Esau, Esau Edom messed up this whole planet. The grass, the trees, the animals, the insects, the water, everything is through. So it has to be reset through the Hawabash, the Hawasha. It has to be new again. Because these are people are just, just they're <laughs> a bashing of destruction, you know, the water of wickedness. Okay, let's go to uh, Revelation 18 to 7. Revelation 18 and 7. And this is speaking to the to the attributes of Esau Edom. Revelation 18 and 7. And it reads, How much she have glorified herself and have lived deliciously so much torment and sorrow. Give her for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. That's the attitude of the rich and the bacon families. You know, that's that's the attitude of the Amalekites. That's the attitude of Amalek, Amalekites. Oh, man, I can't say that word. The Amalekites. You know, that's their, that's their whole makeup. They're proud. They're very proud. And they think they're going to leave an inheritance for the for, their children. They were born in vain. Revelation 18 and 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord Yahweh by sin Yahweh's side who judges her. You know, and that is and they didn't judge now it's coming. Everything is turning up. Let's 
Let's see, Revelation 18 and 6. It reads, Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works. And the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. This is the same thing that she done to us, and she's going to get double. That's Babylon, which is known as America. That horde is sitting on top of the beast, which is NATO, European Union. You know the story. Okay. Let's go to Psalm 73. Seventy-three and let's see what we got. Three. Psalm seventy-three and three. And it reads, "For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked." Now you don't want to. You don't want to envy the wicked. Let's read this down. Psalm 73 and 4. But there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they played like other men. Therefore, pride compassed them about as a chain. Violence covered them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart. Could wish they have. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning the oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. Therefore, his people return hither and waters up, and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. And they say, How the God know? And is their knowledge in the Most High? <laughs> Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Really, I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocency. For all the day long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. Now, see, he's, he's also very proud, you know, very proud. That's why the destruction coming upon him as of, as of now, in just beginning. Well, let me go to uh, Proverbs 16 and 5. Proverbs 16 and 5. In the reads, everyone that is proud of heart is an abomination to the Lord. The how watching your house out, though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. He's going to get punished. Anybody that join with them is going to be punished. Even tomorrow, people they're going to be punished when you rely on them instead of the how watching your house out, you know. Uh, you know, as the, 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 the occupants said, and the rest of the, you know, and, uh, you know uh, and as we've been taught, you know, two thirds must die, two thirds got to die, you know. You know, but he has us elect and, and, and just, just repent, offend less, come back, work. Best of your ability, according to the faith that was given to you. And we know that faith is a gift, but you gotta use the gift that He gave you. Yep. Okay, let's go to uh, Proverbs 16 and 6. By mercy and truth. Iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the 
Lord Yahweh by his homicide, men depart from evil. When a man ways pleases the Lord, let me read that again, Proverbs 16, 7. When a man's ways please the Lord Yahweh, Bashmi Hawasai, he make it even his enemies to be at peace with him. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I've seen it happen. I've seen that happen when you can use wisdom that you learn, you know, from the Hawa Bashmi Hawasai and through the prophets, you know, uh, uh, Great Millstone and Apply them, it'll, it'll, it'll get you out of a lot of a lot of things that's negative. Yep. You know, the, the power of Yahweh by some how side people don't understand, and, and, and they don't understand because they don't fear. They don't. They don't fear him. They don't fear him. Let's go to uh, Isaiah 45 and 13. Isaiah 45 and 13. Yep, 13. And it reads, I have raised him up in righteousness, and I will direct all his ways. He shall build my city, and he shall let go of my captives, not for, not for price nor reward, said the Lord. The house of hosts. Isaiah 45 and 14. Thus said the house of Hawassah, the labor of Egypt and merchandise of Ethiopia and other Sibians, men of stature, shall come over unto thee, and they shall be thine. They shall come after thee and change. They shall come over and they shall fall down unto thee. They shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely Yahweh. Power is in thee, and there is none else. There is no power. Really, thou art a power that hidest thyself. O power of Israel, the Savior. They shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They shall go to confusion together. They are makers of idols. But Israel shall be saved. In the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Son, with an everlasting salvation, you shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. So that's what's coming. That's what's coming. You know, world without end to the, his elect, which is Israel. From the tribe of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. From the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's the promise. Anybody, everybody, anybody, all other than us can't be saved. They're going to be under us, yeah. But they can't be saved. It's not for them. The, law wasn't, the, the promise wasn't given to them. It's only given to Israel. Judah and Israel. Okay, uh. Uh. And that's the same. Judah and Israel, you know, this Israel, the promise was given to Israel, you know. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Let's go to uh, Sirach 6, which is Ecclesiasticus and the Apocrypha. Okay, I got to switch. Was it? Yeah. Six. And 37. Then it reads, Let thy mind be upon the ordinances of your Hawabash and your and meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thy heart and give thee wisdom at thy own desire. So you got to stay on, on, on the Most High, Yahweh. And, 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 uh, 
only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. You got to stay on the words of the book because Yahweh Shai covered the volume of the book. You know, it's our history and it's our instruction of what to do, how to be, how to act, how to walk. You know, what to look out for. You know, how to have wisdom, how to gain faith. You know. And he's teaching you uh, wisdom. You know, where shall be the stability of thy times is coming. You know, I'm roughly paraphrasing that. Uh, Let's go to Nehemiah. Nehemiah 1 and 9, it reads, But if ye turn unto me, and keep my commandments, and do them, though there were of you cast out. Let me read that again, Nehemiah. Look at Nehemiah 1, verse 9. But if ye turn unto me, and keep my commandments, and do them, though they were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heaven, Yet will I gather them from thence and will bring them into the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Yeah, so you have to repent, come back. Repent, come back. First Corinthians three and eight. First Corinthians 3 and 8, and it reads, Now he that planted, and he that watereth, are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are laborers together with the Most High Yahweh Father, ye are God's husbandry, ye are God's building, according to the grace of the Most High Yahweh Power which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another builder thereof, thereon. But let every man take heed how he build it thereupon. For, for other foundation can no man lay then that is laid, which is Yahweh Sahemashiach. Now if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be re revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. Yeah, and that's the fire is, is, is here, it's coming. It, it, you know, it's a little flame right now, but it's coming. And how you understood and studied and did the work and walked in it, determine the outcome and how you're going to get through this. First Corinthians 3, 14. If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved. Yet so as by fire. 
Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh, and that the Spirit of the Most High Yahweh dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of the Most High Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh, him shall the Most High Yahweh destroy for the temple of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is holy. Which temple ye are. So once you get this truth and you're walking in it, don't go back. Don't turn back. Don't get to doing the same thing you've been doing before you came into this scripture. Because we are wretched. We are our sinners. Even our thoughts. You know, our hearts are nothing but filthiness. And then when you go back into this world, it'll be worse for you. Much, much worse. If any man defile the temple, that's 1 Corinthians 3 and 17. If any man defile the temple of the Most High Yahweh, by some Yahweh's side, him shall the Most High Yahweh destroy for the temple. Of the Most High Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh's side is holy, which temple ye are. First Corinthians three eighteen. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seem to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh's side. For it is written, He taketh the wise into their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth. The thoughts of the wise that they are vain. Yep, so all these people that think they're wise in their own eyes, you know, that they're, they're, they're teaching you wrong things. They got to pay for that. Because the education of this world is foolishness. The Havabas and the Havasai, he used people according to his heart. To, you know, to, 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 I think that's the, that scripture, uh, roughly para, paraphrasing, but according to their heart, his heart, I had to find that later on and look it up. You know, so let's go to, let me go to, uh, okay, I'm almost closing out. Let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah. You know, uh, all this judgment going out. Uh, uh, kids getting getting killed and accidents and suicides, all of this other stuff. That's just judgment, you know, and they're wondering how could this happen, you know. They're wondering, but uh, Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh side did it, you know. So Isaiah 45 and 7, and it reads, I formed the light and create darkness. I made peace and I create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh side, do all these things, you know. If you don't understand that yet, you know, this heading got uh, Yahweh's uh, supreme power. Isaiah 45 and 8, and it reads, Drop down, ye heavens, from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open, and let them bring forth salvation, and let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord Yahweh, by Yahweh, Yahweh, I have created it. That's right, he created everything. Isaiah 45 and 9, Woe, which means destruction. Woe unto him that striveth. But this maker, yeah, that's that's the stress of anybody to try to go against his creator, the the, the, the everlasting, the ancient of days that created him. You know, let me read that again. Isaiah forty-five, chapter nine, verse woe, which means distrust unto him that strive with this maker. Let the pasheers strive with the pasheers of the earth. So the clay say to him that fasten it. What makest thou? Or thy work he hath no hands? Come on now, you can't how you gonna 
Who is you to, to, to go against your creator, Yahweh? Why is me Yahweh, sir? You know, I mean, that's that's crazy, you know? Yahweh, sir, I got the blueprint from the Most High Yahweh, which, which uh, uh, Yahweh means he is, he to be, you know? His son is Yahweh, sir. If you notice, Yahweh, Yahweh, sir, it's the, the, you, you got the same, some of the same letters in, in the father's name. That's to tell you something, right there, you know. But he gave the, the heavenly father, ancient of days, gave. Yeah, uh, 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 he to be gave the blueprint to his only begotten son, the, the first spirit created, Yahweh Shai. He gave him the blueprint to create. He created us and everything. And everything we see right here on this planet. And every and the moon, the star, everything. Okay, uh, I said 45 11. That said the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, and His Maker asked me of things to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hands. Command ye me. I have made the earth and created man upon it. I even my hands have stretched out the heavens, and all their hosts have I commanded. I have raised him up in righteousness, and I will direct all his ways. He shall build my city, and he shall let go my captains, not for price nor reward, said the Lord. Yahweh binds me, Yahweh side hosts. Thus said the Lord, the labor of Egypt, the merchandise of Ethiopia, and the Sabians, men of statue, shall come over unto thee, and they shall build. They shall be thine. They shall come after thee and change. They shall come over and they shall fall down unto thee. They shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely Yahweh by the house I is in thee. And there is none else. There is no power. Really, thou art a power that hideth thyself, O power of Israel, the Savior. They shall be ashamed and also confound all of them. They shall go to confusion together. They are makers of idols. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shall with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confound the world without it. And that's what I got for right now, because I, 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 I keep going in these books. That I, in, in the notes, put the notes that I wrote down, it's going to be a while. Uh, so with that, uh, the wild to Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai to allow me to to, to get this together. As it, I don't, I don't, I don't say it together. I mean, I'm, I'm learning how to do this, but uh, hopefully it, it'll be some edification behind this uh, for the hopefully elect and. and Again, I uh, the water of the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for allowing me to do this. Uh, Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shai, Barak the Yahweh by Shem Wakakadash. Call Lom like Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Wakakadash. Water for everything that you've done for us and doing. Protect the brotherhood. Knock one. Any times it's coming. In the water for the apostles, the others, great millstone, who rule well. And without them, do Yahweh by us and Yahweh side. We wouldn't know who we were, who we are, and what's going to happen. Everything through Yahweh Bash and Yahweh said the water. Salawam.